Hi there, I welcome you all in this learning video. As you all know that we are learning the topic functionals dependent on higher order derivatives. And we have already seen in the previous two learning dialogues that uh, how to find out the extremals for the given functional depending on the equations where some somewhere we have to find out the complementary functions somewhere we have to find out particular integral now why i'm taking this problem the motto or the reason behind taking this problem is that here we have to find out the arbitrary constants with the help of given condition that's why i'm taking okay so we are given the problem find the curve joining the point 0 0 and 1 0 for which this integral is minimum okay and also some conditions is given to you okay so what is the first step of uh, problem of solving in such cases we just write down f is equal to y double dashes square okay now what we are going to do is we are going to find out the derivatives like del f by del y is there a term of y dash y or y dash no so zero then del f by del y dash is there a term of y dash no again derivative is zero then del f by del y double dash is there a term of y double dash yes so what is its derivative 2y double dash simple now after getting these derivatives you have to write down the Euler's equation for the given uh, functional so you have here you can write extremals or the curve here uh, it is not written that we have to find out uh, extremals so I am just going to write down we know that the Euler equation we know that the Euler's equation the Euler's equation is the Euler's equation is what is that Euler equation for this that's del f by del y minus d dx of del f by del y dash plus d2 by dx square of del f by del y double dash is equal to 0. So, with the help of this Euler's equation, we are going to find out the curve joining the point 0, 0 and 1, 0 for this to be minimum. So, we have the values del f by del y 0 minus d dx of del f by del y dash also 0 plus 2 times uh, derivative of what is it? Del f by del y double dash that is 2y double dash is equal to 0. So, this is nothing but I am dividing by 2. So, this is uh, 2 derivative and 2 derivative, 4 derivatives. So, I will write it as y4 dash is equal to 0. That is, in terms of operator, you can write this one as d4y is equal to 0. Now, you have two options. What are those options? Now, you have two options like uh, you can... Uh, find out the roots so roots are 0 0 0 0 4 times okay so according to that uh, my cf or as we can say right hand side is 0 so my solution would be uh, y is equal to c1 e to the power 0x plus x into c2 e to the power 0x plus x square into c3 to the power 0x plus x4 into c4 e to the power 0x x, x square x cube okay this is the one way that you can find out the roots of this apply the rule of complementary function you will get this the second thing is Either you will uh, get this or you can write this as 4 derivative like d you can write this as like d4y by dx power 4 is equal to 0 and 
you can different or you can integrate this uh, four times to get y and that y you will be getting like when you differentiate it or uh, integrate it once you will get a d3y by dx cube when you differentiate one more time d2 by dx square would be ax plus b then one more time ax square by 2 plus bx plus c one more time y is equal to a x cube by 6 bx square by 2 c x plus d okay so you can do such thing and then you can replace a by 6 as a c1 b by 2 c2 c as c3 and this d as c4 so these are the two ways that you can do but uh, i prefer to go with that okay so i am getting it uh, like this so nicely i am writing this y you can write here actually i have uh, missed out some term like its auxiliary equation is its auxiliary equation is m to the power 4 is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to 0 0 0 0 and with the help of that i will write down this okay now i'm writing it uh, nicely writing the term of this to be first so this is c4 x cube plus c3 x square c2 x plus c1 okay now my objective is to get uh, c1 c2 c3 and c4 with the help of given condition okay now as you can see there are condition on y and y dash so i can find out y dash from here itself so you can write here as like say this is to be equation number a and uh, i will differentiate equation a with respect to x to get y dash So, differentiating A with respect to X, we get, so what we get, we have Y, then it become Y dash is equal to, what is it? C4, 3, X square, plus 2, C3, X, plus C2. No need to write down the further term because derivative of constant is 0. Okay. Now we have uh, the conditions. So using what is the first condition? I have just rubbed this. So the first condition is y of 0 is equal to 0. Using y of 0 is equal to 0 is equal to y of 1. So this is to be equation. Then equation A implies. So the first equation that I will use, make use of y of 0 equal to 0. So y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So when I put y is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, I am getting just c1 as 0. Okay. Next what I need to do is, next I put x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So this is 0 is equal to c4 plus c3 plus c2 so i got this okay now i am going to make use of the other condition using what are the other condition y dash of y dash of uh, 0 is a and y dash of 1 as b y dash of 1 as b okay now apply this on b then equation b will imply then equation b will imply what is it y dash what is the value of y dash a is equal to 3 and these are all things 0 because we have to put here 0 so this 0 this 0 so we got c2 so we got uh, c2 as a and when you apply this condition put x is equal to 1 and y dash equal to b i am getting again in one equation so y dash is sorry b 
is equal to x is 1. So this is 3 c4 plus 2 c3 is it plus c2 okay now if I put uh, the value of c2 over here because I am getting, uh, getting the value of c2 as a so this can be written as that is 3c4 plus 2c3 is equal to b and what is c2 a so this would be b minus a okay now I have to get the value of c4 and c3 so now I am going to uh, give this equation here uh, c2 is a so I can write this equation as c4 plus c3 is equal to minus of a so say this is to be my equation 1 and say this is to be equation 2 okay so now we have to solve these two equations so I am going to multiply equation 2 into 2 implies what is it 2c4 plus 2c3 is equal to minus 2a simple now say this is to be equation 3 now I am going to subtract uh, 1 3 from 1 so this is uh, 3 minus 1 will imply what is this uh, 3 minus 1 uh, I will write it 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 would give you uh, so 1 minus 3 so 3c4 minus 2c4 c4 plus 2c3 minus 2c3 get cancelled so c4 is equal to b minus a this is plus so this is b plus a or you can write c4 is equal to a plus b once you get C4, you can make use of this equation 2 to get the value of C3. So, put C is equal to A plus B into, we get, what we get? C4, that is A plus B plus C3 is equal to minus A. So, C3 is equal to minus A minus A minus 2a minus b so this is minus of 2a plus b so now as you can see we have got the values of c1 c2 c3 and c4 okay so now i can write down my required solution okay therefore i have written that equation a therefore equation a becomes equation a becomes y is equal to what was that c4 x cube what is c4 that's a plus b into x cube is it then i have c3 what is c3 minus of 2a plus b into x plus then i have c2 x what is c2 a that is a x and what is c four, uh, c1 c1 is 0 so this is my required this is my required extremal for the given functional so i hope uh, this is uh, clear to you and we will solve more problems on the live sessions also okay so thank you for watching enjoy learning mathematics and thank you